picture that. <laughs> I didn't mean you. <laughs> Are you there? Yeah. yeah. So you can go yeah. In. And just as soon as you do that, you can slide in and. Oh, you can Brian, take the inside. I don't. I'm just Brian for right now. All right. Okay. Sounds okay. like you went. It's hard for people to, to turn around and fit me. I can tell you that. Yeah. The media and they want to talk to people and. Yeah. Okay, Tony. Thank you, Tony. Yep. Lord Lee was looking for you before. He said to get his light to keep the <laughs> You can go in when you get ready. Right here. And that's the airlock. And Lloyd. That's a little, this little, yeah, look. <laughs> you see the camera come down? Yeah. 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 So you just like have a sleeping bag and they hook up to the wall? Pretty much. If you look at some of these pictures oh, yeah, here, along yeah. the wall, this is what it looks like whenever they're uh -huh. strapped somewhere to sleep. Wow. Everybody can see how crowded, yeah. how packed it is, how it gets in here. Because uh, right now it looks like it's all wide open, right? There's a seat that mounts to the floor right here. Where I'm standing, there's another seat that mounts right here and another seat right here. So this is where they sit. Where they sit. So like three guys for lunch. This is the aft compartment. This is the mid deck. Mid deck. I'm sorry, yeah. you said that already. Mid deck. That's better. There are approximately 74 avionics boxes here in the crew module. Uh, F A one, F A two, F A three A back here in the corner. Some are air cooled, some are static, meaning they don't require any type of uh, cooling whatsoever. Some are water cooled. Awesome. So they sit on actually on top of a cold plate that circulates water under a box to cool the avionics. Now, can we go upstairs? Uh, oh, there not yet. There? Uh, I, I see. I see. Yeah. Can you ask what the main point This is the airlock. There's the airlock door on the top. That's where the shuttle got the this is. And here. Discovery's payload bay. Looking toward the app. That's where the arm would be if it were in here. The OBSS. Good old discovery. Guys. Just we love you for what you did. God bless you for well, your you. fantastic team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
coolant packages are. There's pumps down here, water pumps below us. There's five tanks of water that are below us. One is actually a waste tank, the other are for potable drinking water. Um, and as a matter of fact, that's the water from the fuel cells. Okay. It's pumped into those tanks. The avionics bays are actually have their own heat exchanging fans, and, and they're actually running also. Like, for instance, here where we're at, would be about 72 to 74 degrees. But inside the avionics bay, if you were to put your arm in here, it's about 94 degrees. All this does create heat. Yeah, for sure. A lot of wiring. There's over 160 miles of wire in each vehicle. So enough of it to go across. Intercom. That's for their headsets, that's for their uh, launch and entry suits, their helmets. Okay. cables and everything they actually get strapped down each one of these clips that you see these white clips would actually have a velcro tie to them so that they can across the ceiling at oh, like this you would think there's going to be cables all over the place floating around i mean you can see how Angle cramped up. this is where you're at the mid deck this is this is this would uh, let's see this would actually be back here all those lockers would be along this wall He's sitting on a bicycle that actually mounts right here and uh, exercising. Now, what about the crew that flies on the mid deck? I'm not sure exactly what order. Right here? That's right here, right? This, this is, is one seat. Well. This is another seat. And this is the seat. And, and they uh, they didn't look far enough in advance, so they didn't get window seats. This is what they did to look at. Okay, now um, on the flight where they had the eight crew members. Was that 61A? Where'd the other seat go? There'd be another you know? seat. That they, <laughs> I, in all honesty, uh, that was Atlantis, I think. I don't remember eight. I don't think. Yeah, it was that German space lab mission. But I don't think. Yeah, October 1985. Oh, I we gave can, you some we, trivia to look up. We can actually <laughs> carry ten, ten people up, because we could actually bring ten people down, uh, and, and those seats would mount to other locations. We don't have permanent hosts. Okay. Per se, where they would mount. Now, the where, seats what, to. What's they're in orbit? Right? What are they doing with the seats on the mid? -day? The seats actually unfold cool. from the floor. They they compact down to to about this tall. Wow. About like that. And they they'll get put wherever. Um, wherever they wherever they stage them. I mean, this right here is this hole that you see. This airlock. All this whole area would be full of equipment, stuff that they're going to use on the station. Um, and just to give you an idea. This is where the internal airlock used to sit. Okay. Thanks, so man. it came all the way out here. The old days. In the old days, yeah. Columbia still okay. had an internal airlock. Oh, that's right. Okay. We fly three astronauts up here, we fly four. Yeah. yeah. I was asking about the uh, seats on the mid deck and where they put them. Or... Well, we've got, here we've got commander and pilot seats that are permanent, if you will. And then the same type of seat that goes downstairs in mid-deck, we have one that mounts right here and one over there. Okay. We fly a total four up here. Yeah, because I've seen video from in the cockpit on Columbia, actually, and they had four seats. Yeah. I was wondering why they didn't move the camera further back, but now I see why. There's no word move. <laughs> <laughs> and those seats co collapse when they get in orbit? Actually, these, these seats ones? don't. The only thing this seat will do is fold down. Oh really? Bit, but these seats are permanent. If they're permanent, they don't really go anywhere. They're folded to the floor, whereas the other one's attached to the silver studs on the floor. Okay. 
lightweight seat. There we go. This is more familiar with this view. And oh, you can also look out back here, picture of the body, stay a little bit. Sorry. Drop for that hole over there. Yeah. I don't want to fall. Ow, look at my head. And this is the joystick and that's docking a, it rendezvous aids? That's, yeah, that's the joystick for docking. And those are the aids, that's one of the aids they use for uh, docking. And this controller over here is for the arms. Okay. What's that one for? It's also for docking. Oh. You have a, trans, this is a translational, uh, or a rotational, it's a translation. And then a bunch of laptops velcroed all over the place. In that corner. Sure thing. Over here. Got a more shot before we get out of here. I want to get that like two minutes, maybe. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Matt, go try to crouch down there in the middle. Get a picture of you in here.